Welcome everyone to Mets Baseball Recap. I'm Willie. Welcome to Mets Baseball Recap for May 17th. And I know I did not cover yesterday's game. And unfortunately the Mets did lose yesterday's game. Which meant that they lost three games in a row. So now we're going to Atlanta with a three game losing streak. And a roster that just seems to get hurt every day. And today we're going to start with an... Uh, I'll say... I'll call this a small up. I call this a small because we won. The Mets won. The Mets won three to one. Good job on the Mets to snap three game losing streak. But we got to give a huge down because all the injuries that we suffered today um, do not help the Mets situation at all. Um, but no, we're gonna break this down as much as we can and and hopefully get an update and provide an update to what happened. But. Um, we're going to give an up to Walker, who pitched three innings of solid baseball. Um, he ended up leaving the, at the three innings with a, a, a tight back. Hopefully, it's just a tight back, and he'll be fine. Uh, we are going to give the Mets bullpen, for the most part, a big up as well. Um, Foley came in, gave the Mets three solid innings. Uh, Familia came in, pitched a solid inning. May, who has been kind of shaky, gave up a, a, a run. Uh, on a home run and then of course we're gonna get Edwin Diaz a big up because like I said when it comes to save situations he locks it down you know he has not blown the save knock on wood on that because you know when he pitches on save situations he's just better so anyone that was complaining about yesterday he gave up runs it wasn't a safe situation so you gotta expect it was <laughs> that um you know, we we are going to give the Mets offense a down because the Mets offense has been dead in the last two days, three days, the whole series. No, um, actually, they were kind of there. It's just, no, yesterday. They were actually winning at one point. But today, the offense was just not there. Uh, and the Mets had a lot of hits. The Mets actually had a lot of hits. The Mets had nine hits. But as a team, they left 12 runners on base, which means that these hits were scattered throughout and, and just not consecutive. Uh, yes, the Mets are playing with a very, very uh, weak lineup. As you, I don't want to call it weak, but they're definitely you no. Know, when you have no, like Lindor over three, he did walk twice um, and had a stolen base, but didn't score. You know, um, and we'll get to that inning when he did that. Um, Alonzo and Smith. Um, well, Alonzo first one for five. Smith uh, one for three with two walks. Um, no, and, and Alonzo struck out twice, and he struck out with people on base. Um, Pilar, uh, no, Pilar is the one guy we got to talk about because, uh, that's getting a, a huge down, and we hope that he is okay. Um, he got hit with a fastball right to the face. He drove in the Mets' second run, um, not the way you want to drive it in, um, but it was a scary scene, and you could see by the players' reactions that they were mortified by seeing what they were seeing. Um, there was a lot of blood. Um, it was a lot of blood, a lot of blood. And I was like, oh, that is not good at all, especially because Pilar has been one of the Mets' consistent hitters recently. Uh, he was one for three um, today. Uh, going into that bat and then, you no know, getting plunked right in the face. You no, know, um sucks. Uh, Villar, 1 for 3. Uh, uh, Peraza, 0 for 5. Uh, Nitto, who I've been saying needs to be playing more often, 3 for 4 with 2 runs scored in. Um, yeah, Nitto's trying to show you he deserves to play more often. Um, as much as McCann was your big signing, uh, McCann, I think, could use a couple days off. It's as simple as that. And McCann did pinch it. He went 1 for 1. Uh, drove in the run, too. So big play by, the, by McCann, um, and no, oh, and then the Mets had a couple of new guys coming in, uh, but again, no, oh, it's right now it's like a makeshift lineup where we're trying to figure these things out. But good job on the Mets to win. Um, no, definitely not. No, like these games feel like they are important, and the Mets right now have no starter for tomorrow. That's. That's how the Mets are rolling right now. We don't even know who's pitching for tomorrow's game. So, um, best of luck. That's all I can say to the Mets. But yes, go Mets. The Mets are back in the win column. 
The Mets are 18 and 16. No, after losing three games, no, they were five games over. Now they're no back to being two games over 500. So let's go, Mets. Let's go, Mets.